There you are. Here I am. There you are. Our breakfast is down in here. Got some bacon. Mm, can't go wrong with bacon. Mr. Um, Billy Bob. Mr. Billy Bob. Looks like he shot one. Well, we're saying goodbye to our spot, and we're fire safety people, so um, we're making sure the fire's dead. <laughs> um, oh yes, Ashley found some galena. Very cool. Here, so, hold. let's hear. This is like by the Oklahoma mines. We're actually going to travel now, another 20 miles to, what's it called? It's called um, the Woodpecker Mine. Woodpecker Mine. It's supposed to be blue amethyst there. So, we're off. Galena. Galena. Yeah. That's the piece I fell and I accidentally landed with my hand on it. So, hopefully I find more pieces like that. Maybe gold, maybe? like fall face first into a pile of gold that'd be fun but yeah if we get that lucky cross my fingers making a castle oh that's cute <laughs> alright so we're gonna get ready to travel another what'd you say about an hour Places that no man has gone before. I'm just kidding because most of the time it's like a beer can't stand here. Sure. <laughs> Alright, so we'll keep in touch. We'll be back again and hopefully having some awesome music. You see that? Some pretty cool designs in that piece right there. There's somebody shooting right now, so hopefully they don't get any closer. Amethyst. It's pretty cool. Need to find a good bear pocket. This one right here is pretty cool too. We've actually found. It was like I think there's a tip on that one there. If you can see it, it's not in the sun. There you go. Oh, that's a cool. Piece right there. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that. That's amazing. That's a lot of turquoise too. One of the best turquoise pieces we've had. Stumbled across right now. Yeah, so far. Well, you guys, um, if we strike it rich, we're quitting our job and disappearing. So, in the hope we don't. areas right now. So, if we're hitting some good stuff out here, I think we're gonna find some really good pieces in there. So. This, this mine is the, oh, you said Oklahoma? Oklahoma mine. Tell, but yeah. Some good specimen out this way. They're, fi they're saying we can find um, some amethyst, um, turquoise obviously, and some quartz crystals. And we're supposed to be able to see these in a black light as well. It's supposed to be very fl fluorescent. Yeah. And avoid these little guys here. I almost face planted in it. So that was fun. Good stuff. Amethyst is hard to find. 
Just yeah. need to find a good air pocket so we can... Uh, <laughs> Last time we tried to fight with Amethyst, didn't we get shot at or something? Mm -hmm. That was at Four Peaks. Um, he went up and tried to find some amethysts and got stuck out there. Some guy didn't like him over there. Uh, last time when I went to find amethyst with him, I think I vomited what, like some neon yellow green stuff because we were so hot. But it was well, fun. We'll give you some more um, footage once we hit into the heart of the mine. This is pretty much just the tailings from everything that um, is getting raked up from the trucks that come out this way, but um, we're headed out towards this way, which I'll show you, if you can kind of see. we got to go down this way, the road that follows, and that area right over there is where we're headed. So we'll give you more footage once we get there. Um, hopefully we'll find some really, really good pieces. Breaking this part, this rock apart, got down to a salt amethyst. I'll show you a piece that he got from here. That's that one. Yep. And there's a piece here. Oh, piece of amethyst is going home. Look at your hands. Bloody hands. Be careful, babe. Yeah, this stuff is pretty sharp. Pretty right. sharp. It's totally worth it. Look at that. Jeez. See the purple? Yeah. Let's go find some cool gems. Let's do this. So, uh... We decided to go to Hogan's Mine for tonight. Uh, we will be doing some nighttime rock hunting with uh, UV lights. The other place we'll just have to go in the morning and do some lighting. We got lots of wood because last night it was 32 degrees. Another adventure, we will see you again at nighttime. Man. Okay, well, we're off on a mission. What mission is that? <laughs> uh, to recover a shovel. We had a uh, left at another mine because I was carrying two giant pieces of amethyst <laughs> and I forgot about them. And I forgot about it. Oh, here. <laughs> Whoops. You took a nice little ride down um, out of my hand. Stupid sun. Yeah, it's trying to hide, but it's not doing a very good job. So, uh, yeah, we're on our way back. I've been back to Hogan's. Back to Hogan's. Hogan's mine. Hogan's Heroes. Hogan's Heroes, or Hooligans, as I call it. Because we can never remember the name of anything. Holy crap, so great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we found it. Um, it was just laying on the side of the mountain. Good thing. This stuff's really crumbling too. I know, don't fall. Or also have like funny home video sh like stuff that I'd get rich off of. He makes it look so easy. Look what I found while I was up there. You see it? Mm-hmm. Crystal. Heck yeah. Anyway. Sweet, now we can go back to uh our spot. What's it called again? Hogan's mine. <laughs> <laughs>
Hogan's. Hogan's Heroes. All right. <laughs> All right. Got our fire pits going. Just missed the huge flame that this one was doing. But um, fire guy is coming to uh, Ed. Yep, it's, he's going to assist in the burning down of the desert. Hi. <laughs> got two. This time we learned. Got two fires going. Yeah, well, we haven't in a while. So there's that fire there. And my little tiny one over there for food. See the amazing stars? We actually found down this way, right there in that area. Um, actually, somebody possibly might have been buried. They had um, stones kind of set up like a burial site around there. So, yeah, might hear some people talking tonight. <laughs> if not, we've got the coyote tracks that I saw down here. Um, so obviously they've been uh, this way. Our warm setup. And then once we get some coals down into that little one there, we'll start some food. That's right. Some canned food. Don't forget to join us next time. On the adventures <laughs> of Thomas and Ashley. Alright. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry so, about that. We're out here night hunting, uh, rock hunting. Uh, this is what it looks like with a flashlight. Uh, here's without flashlight. See? Yeah, you can kind of see it. So, there's some of that stuff. Yep. Uh, we're out here after we've heard coyotes, and we just wanted to find some fluorescent rocks. Which is the whole reason why we're out here at the... Was it Hogan's Mine? What's that? Hogan's Mine? Yeah. No, that was the... Yeah. 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 Black light as well. Without it. With it. It's pretty crazy, so... Alright, so we've taken you on our night journey. We're crazy. Yes, we are. Um, but you will be on our crazy adventure tomorrow as well. any of this it's pretty hard to see yeah but anyway but anyway it's um pretty cold out here yeah. and pretty scary out here so. all right That's nice. we're gonna have some chili left over apparently it's on a shirt um, bacon yeah. grease we should have done and that is the end of our bullet fun with our bird gun. Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, we're on our way back. Uh, we're leaving. Boo. Huh? Yeah. Boo. It was like 20 degrees last night. Freezing. Yes, yeah, so we're not going to go to a woodpecker mine yet. We're going to save that for another time because we loaded up with rocks and uh, we got a long trip and stuff to do. So, uh, yeah. We have to drive through all through those mountains to take a couple hours, but yeah, it was gonna be another 18 miles just to Woodpecker Bump, Woodpecker Mine, and I think that was like what more more south? Uh, southeast through the mountains. Yeah, so like literally through the mountains. <laughs> so we figured, but going back home would probably be better. That way we can relax, smell better, and take showers. Yeah. But yeah, it was freezing last night. Had some visitors. Coyotes, lots of coyotes. Uh, yeah. We, we didn't get anything recorded, but I don't like a lot it. of so we didn't get a lot of cool stuff recorded because we're just too busy. Too busy and way too cold and lazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Me back. Again. Well, bye. <laughs> Where we saw the javelinas last night <clears throat> on our way in. They looked delicious.
delicious. He did. Oh, oh man. One what? One over the fence, too. He just missed him. Dang it. Hey, there's... See him? Flip me off. Sure. Okay. Alright. Uh, we made it all the way back. So, uh. we're going to mess around with a couple of rocks we found and we'll show you what they look like. Yeah, we're home. Not that we don't like being here. It's just we're in the city. Yeah. By people. And stupid people. And loud people. Ding. But we're home and yeah, ding. Man. All right, so we're <clears throat> we made it all the way back. Now we got some of these raw pieces, and we're gonna see what we got. I'm gonna cut them, make them smooth, get them so they can stand, and then we'll polish the side so we can see what we got. Next step is doing a little sanding. you guys this was the sanding um, just the way it looks after you sand it down and cut it I don't know if you can see it very well I'm gonna go into the Sun with it that way we can get a better picture possibly and I can't tell because now I'm I'm unable to see the screen so hopefully you guys can see it tin oxide put a little bit of tin oxide powder on the rock, the actual mineral itself, and it helps polish it up. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome polished up gem. And then follow me in here, this is where... It's just a rock, you guys. It's just a rock. I don't see any of 